What's up everyone? Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Michaela, your local Charleston realtor, coming to you from the Cistern at College of Charleston. So they're actually setting up for their graduation ceremony today, but I wanted to take you along and give you almost like a highlight tour and also show you everything the area surrounding the College of Charleston has to offer. Whether you're a parent relocating with your future College of Charleston student or you're an investor looking for a lucrative opportunity in the heart of downtown Charleston, this video will showcase to you exactly why College of Charleston and its surrounding areas are perfect for you and your real estate needs. College of Charleston was founded in 1770 and was chartered in 1785, making it the oldest university in South Carolina. And it's among the nation's top universities for education, student lifestyle, and affordability. And Randolph Hall is College of Charleston's most iconic building. It's actually the main building and it was built in 1830 and is a national historic landmark. And it actually started as just a rectangular brick building. It was remodeled in 1850 to be what it is today. And it's located in the cistern yard which is also called the heart of college of charleston and this is just a really nice green space full of live oaks where you can come and sit on a bench and just read or enjoy your lunch and they also hold ceremonies here as you can see like they hold the graduations here so College of Charleston's campus is made up of 156 buildings and they've taken these historic homes and have transformed them into classrooms and offices, which is awesome because it really mixes with the modern buildings as well. The average building is more than 100 years old. 20 of these buildings are historically protected and the construction of these buildings ranges anywhere from 1770 to 2009. So again, you really do have that mixture of both modern and historic charm, which combining the history, the architecture, and also the live oaks and the overall beauty of College of Charleston's campus. They actually won the prettiest college campus in America. Another entrance into the campus is actually the Cougar Mall, and you'll go through these beautiful iron gates and be greeted by Clyde the Cougar, who is College of Charleston's mascot. This is also where you'll find more buildings like Maybank Hall and the Robert Smalls building that house classrooms and offices. So with the college being in the heart of Charleston, it is surrounded by so many many different things to do and places to go. There's also a FedEx office right near campus and right next door to that is a clean juice. So this is a really great organic option. They have acai bowls, smoothies, sandwiches. This is a really great place to get some good nourishing food. There's also a full service Chick-fil-A very close to campus. And right next to Chick-fil-A is the College of Charleston bookstore. So this is where you can go and get basically any kind of clothing item that you could imagine with the College of Charleston's logo. You can shop for books you can shop for textbooks and next door to here is a Starbucks so this Starbucks is attached to the Francis Marion Hotel and is a really great spot where if you're needing to get some studying done or some computer work or you just grab a refreshing beverage this is definitely a really great place to go to because it is so close to the College of Charleston's campus and while being close to the college it's also in the heart of King Street so you can really enjoy everything that the downtown Charleston shopping district has to offer after grabbing your coffee you can head right across the street to Marion Square. There is always something going on at Marion Square. During this time of filming, they were actually setting up for the Piccolo Spoleto Festival, which is a local arts and music festival. They also hold a farmer's market here every single Saturday from about March, April-ish, all the way to October and November. It's a really great place to go for a picnic or if you're just walking around downtown, it's a really beautiful place to go to. And of course, it is right next to King Street, which is the shopping district in downtown Charleston. And also the Satilli Theater is located on the street and this is the theater that the College of Charleston uses for their performing arts. King Street is full of history and is such a vibrant part of downtown Charleston. It's more than 300 years old and it used to be the central passage used to get into and out of the city of Charleston. It's full of southern charm and has such a great mix of antiques, art, home decor, fashion, and incredible food. Not only do you have King Street but no matter where you are on College of Charleston's campus, you are in walking distance to amazing food, great shopping, and tons of things to do. And I'm sure you will stumble upon events that are always happening downtown and incredible local businesses that you will just fall in love with. 
And also within walking distance to College of Charleston is Colonial Lake, which is a very popular park downtown. Colonial Lake is a 10-acre park that's centered around a tidal pond that has been around since 1768. And this is really great to go for a walk. There's also an athletic complex right next to it, so you can go and play sports as well. And it's located within Harleston Village, which is the neighborhood that is the closest to the College of Charleston's campus. Charleston Village is full of historic landmarks and cafes and even its own shopping. It dates all the way back to the 1700s. It has the classic mixture of Charleston single homes to colonial architecture and is full of tree-lined sidewalks that are all within walking distance to the local parks and amenities just like Colonial Lake, Cannon Park, tennis courts, and playgrounds. And the prices here typically range from the upper 500s on up into the multi-millions depending on where in Harleston Village that you are, but it is truly a great option if you're looking to be very close to the College of Charleston. that you have enjoyed today's video and it's really given you some insight as to College of Charleston and all the opportunities that it has to offer. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!